Welcome to Inside Werner Wildlife Museum. My name is India, and today we're going to talk about the American bison, known colloquially as the buffalo. How many buffalo once wandered across North America can only be guessed. One estimate runs as high as 60 million. In the 18th century, they ranged from the Mexican border to the Great Slave Lake in Canada, and as far east as the present states of New York, Pennsylvania, and Georgia. However, by 1810, buffalo had vanished east of the Mississippi, where they'd never been extremely numerous. Various estimates put the herds on Great Plains and Western Mountains in 1830 at somewhere between 25 and 40 million animals. By the 1860s, the Great Game Slaughter was a hallmark of Western expansion, which was in full swing. Buffalo throughout Wyoming were killed promiscuously for their tongues and hides. For example, the Cheyenne Leader newspaper reported, reported an estimated 200,000 buffalo had been slaughtered in 1873, largely by market hunters plying their trade. In 1895, the Wyoming legislature passed a law making it a felony to kill a buffalo, but the species had already been hunted almost to extinction. In fact, some historians report that the last wild buffalo was killed the same year Wyoming became a state. 1890. However, existing records show that in 1898, some 25 to 30 buffalo were discovered near the eastern edge of the Red Desert. They were promptly killed. The following year, a lone bull was shot at 10 trees between Pinedale and Rock Springs. There are no verifiable records of wild buffalo sighted in Wyoming outside of Yellowstone Park after 1899. It was over. The great herds were a thing of the past. In 1907, all of the truly wild buffalo remaining in the U.S. consisted of 25 free-ranging animals in Yellowstone National Park. From this small nucleus, a modest recovery began. By 1964, a total of 30 bison had been transplanted from Yellowstone to an enclosure near Moran. Some of these animals escaped and wandered free in Grand Teton National Park, eventually finding their way southward to the National Elk Refuge at Jackson. By 1987, there were an estimated 2,400 bison in Yellowstone, several hundred in Grand Teton, and still more scattered individuals, mostly old bulls, ranging through parts of Teton and Park counties. A far cry from the thundering herds of the past, but a welcome recovery nonetheless. Today, nationwide, there are 500,000 buffalo. 5,000 of these are in Yellowstone National Park, these are the only purebred, non-cattle cross buffaloes left. 